Reporting for Newsreel, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here at the White House. Here at the White House in a press briefing with Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, I yelled out a couple of questions. And that's re regarding Israel and the U.S. funding the anti-Semitic U.N. agency UNRWA, wanting a response to that issue. Yeah. Okay, I'm Anthony Harper, the Intermountain Christian Newspaper and the Christian Newspaper Association. And uh, Israel leaders in the Knesset, I'm aware of, are concerned about the misuse of U.S. tax dollars going to U.N. schools that are inciting kids to violence against the Jews. Uh, what, what do you think President Trump, uh, how would he respond to these Israel leaders? There are uh, MK leaders uh, Sharon Haskell, Yehuda Glick, and Dr. Eliza Levy. I met recently, had interviews with them. Their, their concerns are very serious, so want to, uh, they would want to know what uh, President Trump or how he responds to the misuse of these Well, I, I think I would go back to what I said to John a minute ago, which is that I think he has tremendous respect for how tax dollars are spent. But then I would mention again, I mean, we need a U.N. ambassador. We need a secretary of state. There's a lot of these things that can start to happen under the direction of the new leadership that's being held up right now. I'm, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper with the Intermountain Christian News and Christian Newspaper Association. And in light of uh, the president in support of uh, pulling out of UNESCO, uh, what would the president's response, if you know, to uh, UNRWA defunding, which is a U UN agency that has been uh, in the schools specifically inciting kids to violence against the Jews and our tax dollars going into that? Do you have any uh, statement about in light of UNESCO pulling out uh, about UNRWA? No, I mean, I'm not as familiar probably as I should be with it. I would just offer that um, the responsible way to look at any program, and certainly when I went to D. Uh, and DHS, and I did this uh, in Iraq and other places I've been. Uh, when we're expending U.S. taxpayer money, we should uh, look at every program and decide whether it uh, is uh, being successful. If it's not being successful, then change it so it can be successful, or sometimes you just say it's it's not going to work. Go ahead. Well, follow up yep. to that would be uh, the Prime Minister just came out today. There was a release of the government press office in Israel. The Prime Minister welcomed uh, the withdrawal from UNESCO. Mm -hmm. And I had met with the Prime Minister of Israel in May uh, about the Lunar issue. He's very concerned. He made a statement in Jerusalem Post. Uh, not too long ago in denouncing UNRWA, so I thought it would be... I'd have to get, I'd have to get more familiar, sorry. Anthony Harper with the Intermountain Christian News was able to introduce our investigations of UNRWA to the Senator James Risch, who at the time was the chairman of the Middle East Subcommittee, near a subcommittee of the Senate, and, and then became the head of the Foreign Relations Committee, and now is the ranking Republican. And because of that introduction, because of that, that introduction, UNRWA has been, have been forced to be open and transparent or, and about the situation with the school books, the incitement, the indoctrination, indoctrination to murder. And this is something that people don't realize, the extent how one person you know, can do so much. And when, I, when, of course, we heard that you were from Idaho, you saw a, uh, my eyes kind of uh, <laughs> um, go very, very special in terms of their twinkle. The, the twinkle in my eye got very special because, you see, it's Senator Risher who, who can do something and did something. And we exposed the fact that this book, which praises, that praises a terrorist, um, Dalal al-Mugrabi, who mur murdered 38 Jews, is, is the featured book in the UNRWA school system for the last five years, and uh, Dr. Uh, our friend Senator Risch and, and, um, has made an issue out of thanks to you, um, Anthony Harper, and the fact that, that it's an unprecedented school, school book where the children are being taught to murder Jews and by an example of this woman. And you see, it's not just a matter of reforming UNRWA, it's a matter of, of getting rid of their education as it is right now. And uh, states and thanks, thanks to the interview, the, the intervention of, uh, of um, Senator, Senator Risha, which I think 
has been influenced by Anthony Harper. Uh, I, of course, a few years, four years ago, I was in the office of Senator Risch, in which we made a presentation about this subject, and it really worked. And that's what I can tell you. So the work of one man to push the proper legislator who, uh, fearing for the good name of, of, of the United States and the, the, the um, uh, situation of the, of the people of Israel in the land of Israel uh, under such a threat, uh, education, indoctrination, these are the weapons in the hands of the other side. So uh, a lot of credit both to Anthony Harper and to James Risch for standing up for integrity, the integrity of the God of Israel and the people of Israel and the land of Israel. And that's something that we can't forget. Hi, I'm Idaho Senator Jim Risch, and I'm glad you asked me to visit with you today. Idahoans know that anti-Semitism has no place in society today, and we should all do everything we can to fight against any anti-Semitic rhetoric or action when we see it. Israel and the Jewish people are among the greatest friends that the United States has, and absolutely our greatest friend and ally in the Middle East. Through our more than 70-year relationship, the United States and Israel continue to forge an unbreakable bond. On the economic, diplomatic, and security fronts, we advance our cause shoulder to shoulder. But there's more we can and should do to help and fight against those who wish to harm Israel. Just last year, I introduced a resolution in the Senate that condemns the rise of anti-Semitism across the globe. In 2021, violence between Israel and Hamas led to an increase in attacks against Jewish communities. This violence was and is further fueled by support here in the United States for the BDS movement, a global Palestinian-led effort to promote boycotts, divestments, and economic sanctions against Israel. The BDS movement is dangerous and contributes to the rise of anti-Semitism. I will continue to condemn all forms of anti-Semitism in Idaho, the United States, and around the world. On that note, defending Israel at the United Nations is one of the most important jobs we have. From the UN Human Rights Council Commission of Inquiry to Agenda Item 7, Israel is unfairly singled out over and over again. We work tirelessly to ensure that our ally is not targeted and to stop U.S. taxpayer dollars from supporting anti-Israel or anti-Semitic activities at the UN. I also introduced the UNRWA Transparency and Accountability Act to make much needed reforms to UNRWA. This important piece of legislation would require the Secretary of State to certify that UNRWA employees are not affiliated with Hamas and that all agency textbooks do not contain anti-Semitic rhetoric before any U.S. money would be allowed to be given to UNRWA. I'm disappointed that just last month President Biden provided additional funding to UNRWA without seeking reforms. I will continue pushing for reform of this deeply flawed organization. On Palestinian assistance, I continue to scrutinize every dollar to ensure compliance with the Taylor Force Act and push the Palestinian Authority to abandon the egregious pay-to-slave program. And as we continue to fight against the misappropriation and desecration of Jewish cemeteries, we must urge leaders to respect sacred Jewish heritage and allow the proper restoration of these and other holy sites. Thank you for all the work you do to defend Israel. We must continue to stand strong.